Welcome to Sacred Heart Parish and today's liturgy, including visitors and those joining us through live streaming. Restrooms are located in the parish center lobby to the right. Also, there are a few parking spaces available in the alley next to the parish center. We are in need of ministers of hospitality. If you can help, please speak with one of the ministers to sign up. It does involve coming earlier to mass and staying a few minutes later to prepare and sanitize, but supplies are furnished. All Souls Day is Tuesday, November 2nd. Envelopes are available at the doors of the church, the parish center, and the ministry center for you if you would like to have deceased, deceased people remembered at the masses in November. Please return the envelope in the collection box or drop it off at the ministry center during office hours. This weekend is World Mission Sunday. Please mark your contribution, World Mission Sunday, on the envelope or on the memo line of your check and place it in the collection box at mass, our mailbox, 655C, or at the office during office hours. Now for our liturgy. Today, we celebrate the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Murphy, assisted by Deacon Murray. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Good morning, everyone. We want to walk in the light of Jesus. And in the gospel today, the Herodians and the disciples of the Pharisees want to challenge Jesus with a similar question. Should they pay the temple tax to Caesar or not? What was Jesus thinking? Let us begin our Eucharist by first acknowledging the times that we have not chosen God's way over the ways of the culture and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, 
I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you know me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no other God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know there is none besides me. I am the Lord. There is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give, Give the, the Lord, Lord glory and, and honor. honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the peoples, among all the nations, his wondrous deeds. Give, Give the, the Lord, Lord glory and, and honor. honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give, Give to the, the Lord, Lord glory and honor. honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give to Give the, the Lord, Lord glory and, and honor. honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs his people with equity. Give, Give to the, the Lord, Lord glory and, and honor. honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a be Lord be Hallelujah. 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 Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, 
Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We all have allegiances in our lives. It could be to faith or to family, to country, to sports teams, to our career, any number of things we, find we have allegiance to. In many ways, they, they really define us, what our allegiances are. But there are also times when our allegiances are in conflict. And when that happens, we lack a total commitment to anything. Because we're trying to play both sides against the middle, and we sway like a reed in the wind. But where is our primary allegiance? This is what the disciples of the Pharisees and the Herodians were posing to Jesus. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Where did Jesus place his loyalty? And they wanted to trip the Lord up, but Jesus would not be fooled. And he responded that the Roman coin bore the image of Caesar. Therefore, it belonged to Caesar. Give him his, royal, his coin back. It belonged to him. Now, our allegiance should be to God. Why? Because we bear the image of God, his image and likeness. That's where our primary allegiance should be. But many of us still are conflicted in our allegiances. We as the children of God bear the image and the inscription of God in our lives. Because we are created in his image and likeness. The Lord has inscribed his law on our hearts. We read in the prophecy of Ezekiel, I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. And this is what Jesus was trying to teach the Pharisees and the Herodians and his own disciples as well. That they belong to God. Caesar can claim the coins as his own. But he cannot claim people. They are claimed by God. Who do we allow to claim us in our lives? Is it the government? Is it a political party? Or is it the Lord? If we claim to be under God's kingdom, then we must love all people as ourselves and love more than just some intellectual affirmation. Authentic love is expressed in how we live our lives, particularly in areas of service. It reveals the truth of our faith. As we read in the letter of James, faith without good works is dead. And we express our faith through things like the corporal works of mercy and other acts of love. As you heard at the beginning of Mass, throughout the world we're celebrating Mission Sunday in the church. And we're reminded that all people bear the image and likeness of God, bear the inscription of God in their heart and their soul whether they live in the vast plains of East Africa, the Amazon region, on a small Pacific island, in the massive slums of Calcutta, or in the foothills of Tennessee. All of us are called to be missionaries, to proclaim the good news. And you do this by seeing God in other people, whether they're in our neighborhoods, whether they're over the bridge, or anywhere else around the world. We have a mission to build up the body of Christ, to be the body of Christ. Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. Again, where is our allegiance? You know, we carry out our mission in three areas. First, in the family. 
We are called to build up Christ's kingdom in our own homes. Every Christian family should be a place of light, goodness, strength, joy, and forgiveness. Every family. The family must become a school of holiness where Christian virtue is alive. Is there family formation in your, fa- in your home? You see, it's, I know every parent loves their children, but I think what a lot of parents don't understand is how much, how far do you love your children? Do you love your children into eternal life? I know you love your, ch- your kids here, and that's a good thing, but have you ever thought that you are foundational in setting their itinerary and their trajectory toward eternal life by how you form them in the home. So that's why I ask the question, are you forming your children and do you truly love them unto eternal life or just in the moment? Just in the moment. Just as foreign missionaries persist in proclaiming the gospel even in the face of opposition, so must you. Never give up forming your children. You know, your kids are going to argue with it, particularly as they become teenagers and young adults. You know, this religion stuff, many times they say, oh, it's just for the birds. Never stop. You don't have to argue with them. I always counsel parents, do not get into an argument with your kids because they'll find some scientific thing to prove that they're right, they're right and you're wrong. Just do it by your example. Live the life. And that will be enough because later on when they're When life hits them hard and they're going through challenge, they're going to wonder, how did mom and dad get through these times? And they're going to remember, it was their faith that got them through. It was their faith. Now, maybe you need some help with that. Parish is always here to help. We have faith formation materials for families that we can offer to you. Just go to the parish website, stop by the parish offices, and we'll provide you with some materials to to have in the home to form your children particularly now when everybody's at home anyway. We're trying to do some CRE here in the the school, but some parents are keeping their children home and they're they're right to do that if they choose. But we have materials that are available. You can go on to our website. And we're also starting registration for our, our family faith formation and children religious education. So go online, register your kids. Very important, family forth faith formation. That's the first level of being a missionary in the church, starting in the home. The second area of mission work is the parish. Now, Sacred Heart Church is more than a gas station where you come up on Sundays and fill up the tank on Sacramental Grace and you're good for the week. Many people think that that's what we're all about here. Fill up with Jesus in communion and I'm good. But we are an extension of the body of Christ, reaching back 2,000 years and further We are the body of Christ. St. Paul wrote in his first letter to the Corinthians, as a body is one, though many members, you are the body of Christ. So we must ask the Lord, how do I contribute to parish life? How do I help out my faith community? Do I use my time, my talent, my treasure to help Sacred Heart become fruitful for Christ so that we can continue our missionary efforts in our community? Are you a missionary in this small portion of the Lord's vineyard? And the third area of mission is the world. Everywhere we go, we should be a shining light for Christ, whether it is our, in our workplace, in our neighborhood, in the school. We should be a light for Christ. People around the world are searching for Christ, and Jesus will meet them through you. That's where they meet Christ. How do we care for the poor who possess the image of Christ? Now, we may not see them, but they still are the body of Christ, and they are united with us. You can reach out to the image of God living in mission countries. As we mentioned at the beginning of the Mass, as I said, Mission Sunday, we have mission envelopes. Should you, should you want to contribute to the missionary effort of the church? There are mission envelopes at the doors of the church and by the boxes. Or if you want, just on a check, put in the memo line, put Mission Sunday. And your your gift will go to the missionary efforts of the church. If each one of us was more like Christ in these three mission fields, imagine how the world would change. 
Imagine how your family would change. Imagine how this parish would change. We are the body of Christ, and our life is mission. But if we are conflicted about our allegiance to Caesar, to the culture, to politics, to God, if we're confused about our allegiance, we best get on our knees and pray for some clarity. St. Catherine of Siena wrote this, It is impossible for us to either learn about or have the good life or to be hungry for God's honor and the salvation of souls unless we go to the school of the Word of God. Because it is there that true teaching is found. So the choice is very clear for the person of faith. Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. We belong to God. We are the body of Christ and our life is mission. We are the body of Christ and God is our head, so let us profess our faith. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And now as God's people, we pray to the Lord for our needs for others. For Pope Francis, and for all who proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, that their work of faith and their labor of love may endure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, and all who serve or seek to serve our nation, that they may be men and women of courage and character, working in faith, laboring in love, and enduring in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's hand to safeguard all in harm's way, especially our military and frontline workers serving in areas of pandemic or natural disaster. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for Rose Oliveras and Megan Van Arsdell, and all those we remember in our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for Mary Mellor, Father McNally, and Jean Campbell, that the Lord, who called them by name, will raise them to the fullness of eternal life in his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the help of the Holy Spirit, as we bring our personal needs before God in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are the body of Christ, and the Blessed Mother is our mother. And so we ask her to intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
My life flows on in endless song Above its lamentation I hear the clear though far off hymn That hails a new creation No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear that music ringing. It finds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? The peace of Christ makes fresh my heart, the fountain ever springing. All things are mine since I am his, how can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, John and Ramon, his assistant bishops, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. We have the ministers come up to the sanctuary, please. Yeah. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. 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 Counted as gain. Now I consider as loss, empty and worthless to me. In the light of the love of the Lord, riches and honors will fade, earthly delight disappear, fade like the grass of the field, in the light of the
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I'm going to remind you of the mission envelopes you'll find at the doors of the church and at the, at the boxes for the offertory both here and in the parish center for those of you who are in the parish center this morning. And again, we have those faith formation materials available for your family. So just get online uh, and you'll find them or, or call the parish offices and we'll make those available to you as well. Thank you to our musicians, our music, all of our ministers today. Thank you for making this liturgy so beautiful and powerful. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom. Come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever, faithful to the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, melody and music, worship him and bless his name. Power he has wielded, honor is his garment, risen from the snares of death. His word he has spoken, one bread he has broken, new life he now gives to all. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Courage in our darkness, comfort in our sorrow, spirit of our God most high. Solace for the weary, pardon for the sinner, splendor of the living God. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name. Praise him with your singing, praise him with a trumpet, praise God with a lute and harp. Praise him with the cymbals, praise him with your dancing, praise God to the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Bring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship him and bless his name.